since mm-hmm. you and I are friends and the way that Shannon and LeBron are friends, you know Don't what you I mean? Don't if you do I that. If I go crazy on the sideline, they can't uh-huh. kick me out, right? You know what I mean? As long as right. I... Right. You my man. Right. Then, no, they can't. You my man. So they're, you're going to be like, no, he's good. He's good. Yeah, he's good. You just can't be an <laughs> op to one of the homies' homies. You feel me? But then, it's, you know, it, it gives me, you feel me, ah, I got to ride with you. you yeah, Because yeah. you're my homie, but it... It creates a little friction in the middle with me and my other homie. Yeah, it makes it uncomfortable. So I need right. to, next game I'm at, I need like fly list, no fly list, who I can who I can mercilessly get on. Yeah, anybody. That's ops. Pat Pat Pop with Roan. Come on, let's hurry up get the damn another question over. What were you doing with your watch, bro? What was going on there? But I couldn't tell if you were putting the watch in your pocket, shoving it down your pants. What was going on with the watch? Yeah, I, I had to pull it out, man. It felt necessary. <laughs> the watch was broken, dude. Time stood still. <laughs> Homie say he'll beat my ass. Why did he say that? I feel like that was mean. <laughs> Is that necessary to say it on the basketball court? Mind you, I, I'm an I'm an LA All Star, of course. I see him at Delilah. Not one word. Same night or before? No, this uh, I don't know. Whenever All Star was last season. Okay, got it, got it. I see him. Not one word. I see him before the game. We literally walk past each other, like walk past each other. Not one word. You wait till you get in front of 20,000 people to say you can whoop my ass? Plus a camera crew. Interesting. I mean, I'm very, where I'm from, very interesting. What did you say right before that? I don't know. Laughing. You know, he say I can guard him. But, you know, the numbers say different, so. Did you say that you would beat his ass first? Because I feel like that's the only time when it's like, oh. I don't even remember. I I don't know. And then. uh, I feel sorry, though, because. He been fucking teams up after that. He been giving up fucking 60. <laughs> 67 and so feel, 8. <laughs> he filled right. out that stat sheet, dude. You, I feel bad. Teams like, Pat, you shut the fuck up, man. You take that shit out on us. You let the fire but, uh, under the wrong one. Yeah, that's always a good battle with Dame, though, man. He's a funny dude. I thought that you were, like, uh, pretty respectful in the press conference and then for him to kind of come back on Twitter with an ad hominem personal attack. Yeah, you know. Why is he so mad? What did you? What did you? I don't know. Interesting. Like though, and very interesting. Yeah. But say less. Note it. You know, I'm the guy that. Oh, you reacted like that. Note it. Yeah, dude. It has been. Uh, it's been a very action-packed last like ten days for the Lakers. Like every single day, there's like multiple stories where crazy shit's going on right now. It's heating up, and I, I can't tell why. Why is everything heating up around the Lakers right now? I don't know. We started winning some games, being competitive. Obviously, every game that we done had, I don't know, eight or seven out of the last ten, six out of the last ten has been on, been national televised. So, you know, how it is. and they're going to televise everything. It seems like until Bron uh, gets this this scoring title. So it seems yeah. like there's it's not going to slow down at all. But I'm trying to pick where to start. Where's my entry point? I guess I should start at 18, like coming up 18 points uh, in this in this last game. It seemed like you were on fire offensively. Yeah, off of back to back too. Felt good. Been feeling good. Been feeling good the last couple months. Man. What was it about the game plan that they're like, okay, you're you're gonna you're gonna see a lot more shots? Oh, I was just you know being aggressive. I know we came off a of back to back. I didn't I didn't I didn't like the way I shot it against the Clippers. So you know, anytime you don't you know shoot well, you want to come out and have a good one. And plus, we was playing against Pop, so I'm always fired up and uh, you know against Pop. Why are you fired up about against Pop? He the greatest. So that makes you want to play hard in front of him? Yeah, I mean, you know, you always want to, you know, I don't know, dethrone the king or beat the Mr. Miyagi. You know, he's 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 laid down a pedigree for himself and other coaches of, you know, sustainable, you know, championships off the championships. So, you know, to even be in the same room as a coach like that, uh, you know, to get able to be able to, you know, go against, uh, you know, the things that, you know, him and his coaching staff scout for and, you know, all his greatness is, you know, you always want to, always want to beat him, you know. Hit a shot, look over at Pop. But you got to think, I'm the guy 
that goes to Pop, like, before the game, like, hey, Pop, what you think about this? What you think about that? I'm the guy in Minnesota, go to Pop. Hey, Pop, man, I don't, I don't, we, with Carl Anthony Towns, I feel like we can run this play, man. What do you think about that? Do you agree with that? You know, I'm that guy. You know, I want to, I want to be a sponge to, you know, all the greats. So, uh, you know, I'm halfway walking to his locker room and shit before the game starts to trying to, try to get whatever I can from him, you know? Pick up a little bit of game. Everything. Like, like, I'm like a sponge. Pop, he was, he's walking in, I stop whatever I'm doing, talk to him, talk about the season, you know, check up on him, you know, like, <laughs> What you see, you see anything? What, what, you know, with this new team, how you think I can implement myself more? Or, you know, what you've seen over the past? Or what you think about this play? You know, I'm that guy, you know, so. I'm picturing, credit credit I'm picturing him, like, kind of coming back at you and being like, yeah, we're kind of, like, uh, soft on the weak side. Like, you could probably attack. Nah, and then he, you're like, put so up nah, 18. He, <laughs> nah, he the, he the obviously, he come to me like, you know, we see each other. He ain't. Hey, the fuck you looking at? <laughs> 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 yeah, Pop, man, he the greatest, man. So, uh. Yeah, it's always good to play against Pop. Shannon Sharp made massive headlines, kind of oh, yeah. going back and forth. Dude, that that he shit. He stole my he stole my sweater. Wait, did, was that sweater from the same spot? Same spot, but different colors. But you know, obviously, our shit. You know, we record our shit a week before, so when our shit comes out, his shit happens two days before. They look at me. Oh, you stole Shannon Sharp's. He, man, he got good taste. Yeah, great taste because I everybody that incident was so talked about that people were like finding the sweater how much it costs like three grand on the sweater you know what i mean yeah, Some, light. something light but light, uh yeah. i thought the situation was particularly interesting because it seemed like one of the first times that the players on the court were considered equal to the people who were shouting at them and i think in mm. a lot of other stadiums specifically in philadelphia i feel like it happens all the time in philly somebody will say some crazy shit and then like russ will point at them and be like can we get this guy kicked out isaiah thomas mm. can we get this guy kicked out Braun will be like hey like these people are talking shit to me can we get them kicked out but <coughs> shannon sharp has a different set of rules even though he's not a laker he's not a basketball player you know he, he's a media member do you think that's right what's your make of the entire situation um, LeBron James love Shannon Sharp. I love LeBron James. <laughs> he big bro, which forces me to fuck with Shannon Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that, dude, and I yeah, do fuck with Shannon me. Sharp. That's how I am on and off the court. You my you my homie. This your homie. That's my homie. You my homie, this your op, fuck it. That's my op. <laughs> yeah. I suppose to go. If it was Skip Bayless, dude, you might be clapping in his face, fuck it. But yeah, Shannon no. Sharp is, is uh, he seems like a level-headed dude. He apologized for getting into it with... Uh, oh, we were in the locker room. We come back, we... Hey, hey yo, there was a scuffle out there. We a scuffle. What do you mean scuffle? <laughs> like, yeah, they was getting wild out there. You know, they told us who it was. Like, damn. And he was like, come over, like, get over here. You know what I mean? So wait, yeah. do you think that I have... But the night before, see, this is what people don't understand. The night before when we played the Houston Rockets, it's apparent from the Rockets, I was standing up all game clapping. My mom got seats, listened to the lady clap all day. Say my mom took off purse, handed to sister, like, hold on, watch out. Hey, baby, you got to sit down. Now I got my son playing. She, yeah, we all got sons playing. You need to sit your ass down. So, yeah, it was about to be some smoke the night before Houston game. Mom's coming to me like, you know, I would never disrespect you, but we couldn't we couldn't enjoy the game. The lady was wrong. Like, oh, what happened? You, would you pieced up somebody, moms? Said, no, 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 but I was close. I was close, but I wouldn't do you like that. I damn. And I pushed moms to the Chicago limit. What? Then we get the scuff. We then we hear about the shit with uh, Shannon Sharp. It's lit. So LA been lit. What's policy for mom? No, nah, you know you can't. You know, stay pro. Yeah. But you know, mom's a basketball fan, so mom likes to. You know, I'm in LA. My son's Lakers. Like I want to see my son play. Lady, you know she's a uh, you know, rather tall lady. So you know she's really blocking people. People people can't see. Other parents can't see. She's casting uh, a shadow into the stands. Yeah, you know, that uh, rocket score. She, yeah, you know, screaming all that, which I understand. You feel my mom with that shit. You feel me? Cheer for your son. But, you know, it's other parents that's been in this league a decade that got sons still, you know, so. Right. I wonder how receptive she was to your mom's suggestion that she sit down. No, I, I heard it escalated quick. You know, mom, <laughs> I got quiet moms. Like, moms, 
Like, you feel me? Moms look cool, smile all the time. But when it's time to get frisky, mom, like, first one, you know? So, like, she, oh, hold my purse. Oh, <laughs> it's about to get wild. Damn. That's, I wonder how it de The person, the Dior purse that has mom written on the front of it. It's wild as shit. It's She's not going to start swinging the purse around. No nah, weapons, you nah, know, just hands. Nah. Um, but so so with all these situations, I, it makes me wonder, I consider you and I friends. That's how I consider us. You better, hey, tell them how I called you the night before Portland game, though. I'll, and I'm going like, to I'll get to that in hey, one second. What you waiting on? I'm going to get your... to that in one second, but finish this. But I'm saying, you you tell me about how friends, I'm, that's well, why. Well, let me finish this hypothetical. Okay. So you and I are friends, correct? Since mm-hmm. you and I are friends, and the way that Shannon and LeBron are friends, you know Don't what you I mean? Don't if you do I that. If I go crazy Gilly. on the sideline, they can't uh-huh. kick me out, right? You know what I mean? As long as right. I... Right. You my man. Right. Then... No, they can't. You my man. So they're, you're going to be like, no, he's good. He's good. Yeah, he's good. You just can't be <laughs> an op to one of the homies, homies. You feel me? Then, it's, you know, it, it gives me, you feel me, ah, I got to ride with you. you yeah, Because yeah. you my homie, but it... It creates a little friction in the middle with me and my other homie. Yeah, it makes it uncomfortable. So I need right. to, next game I'm at, I need like fly list, no fly list, who I can who I can mercilessly get on. Yeah, anybody. That's ops. Yeah, but that's I gotta figure out who's ops. I wanna make sure there's nobody on the other team that you're like secretly friends with. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Everybody on the other team ops. Okay, so I can so I could do what Shannon Sharp was doing, being like, you can't guard LeBron. You're like he's too big for you. You're too right. little. Like I I right. could I could go at a anybody. player. A- any, anybody, anybody that's not a Laker. Say less. Yeah, I'm, anybody. I'm not going to say that I'm going to abuse that power, but I'm going to use that power, okay? I like that. I'm going to use like it that. in the right way. Um, yeah. But but we are friends, bro, and you did hit me up before the Portland game. Tell them, though. It, tell them. Tell them exact story. And, 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 and so when I you was, tell them, ex- I, don't leave it out. I was driving down. I'll tell you exactly where I was in New York. We're I'm going to let you tell it from your side, and I'm going to finish it with my side. Okay, go. Driving back Saturday night right after the Eagles had just won their game. We were just leaving the stream, coming from Hoboken back to Brooklyn. So we're driving through Manhattan. Pat hits me up, we're on Canal Street. Hold on, hold on, pause up, pause, because I'm gonna gonna ask questions in between to give people a a real detailed description of how the conversation went. Do I usually FaceTime you? No, not typically, no. Okay, cool, now finish your story. So this was a very exciting uh, moment. I'm I'm riding in the car and I was with Big Cat. We're driving down Canal Street and it's like, oh, Pat Bev's FaceTiming. I was like, oh, pick up right away. Uh, You know, I'd I'd had, you know, probably five high noons before then. So I wasn't drunk, but I was feeling fine. And uh, we were driving home and Pat's like, yo, we're gonna be massive. And I was like, fuck yeah, bro. He's like, no, you don't get it, bro. This show's going to be fucking massive. I was like, fuck yeah, bro. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. And I was like, you know, put you on the phone with Big Cat. You guys got to meet Big Cat a little bit, but you're like, dude, we're about to blow the fuck up. We're on the precipice of blowing up, dude. And this is where my mindset's at right now. Seemed like you had your phone set up in front of you on like a stand. You're in a hotel room, I think in Portland, Oregon, and it's just set up. So not only were you walking around the hotel room, you know, walking from the bathroom to the bed or something, you set up the phone, then called me on some conference call shit, pure motivation, being like, yo, we're about to be disruptive. You were, of course, polite to Big Cat. You guys had a nice conversation. What was I doing when I called you? You were you were chilling in the hotel room. No, no, no. Tell them what I was counting. Don't leave it out. What were you counting? I'm trying to remember. Remember that big wad of money I showed you? Oh my God! <laughs> see, 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 you're not locked in. You're not locked in. I told you I had five. I had five high noons. I, I was so I was like a little bit. I wasn't feeling over the top, but I was feeling good. You did have a fucking a uh, stack, dude. And I don't even think the word stack is appropriate. That bitch was a brick one. It was that a was brick, like, <laughs> dude. It literally, it literally looked like a brick that you would put into a wall, brick and mortar. And I don't, I couldn't have fathomed where you were. You were probably going to Ruth Chris, honestly. With a stack no, that big, so. you were no. probably about to go buy a fucking flank steak or some, maybe no the No lie, I went to, to Ruth Chris. You didn't even know that. Went to Ruth Chris that night. With the money? <laughs> Did you <laughs> cash? or, or no, you, I, I, you know, I'm the type that, you know, I, I take some, but I ain't gonna tell you why. Okay. Okay, cool. What I why I had it at. Of course, yeah. I understand. Because uh, I suggested you go to a vegan strip club. You're like, absolutely not, dude. That sounds not, terrible. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then tell them once we finish conversation, I told you look to the left. What was on the left? A bank. There was a Chase bank right bank. there. Chase Bank. Exactly. And I told we go get all the bread. It's gonna be crazy. Blah blah blah. We gonna have a TV show. We gonna be rich as fuck. Yes. We, we get done with conversation. I say look to the left. 
Chase Bank. There's a Chase Bank. Bank. There's a Chase Bank right there. And you can look it up because on Canal Street, there is a Chase Bank right there. And he said, uh, you're, you were like, I just wanted to give you some energy was the yeah. sign off. And uh, I was like, it. damn, dude, thank you for the energy, dude. I really appreciate the energy. But uh, the, the wad of cash was, uh, was astounding. I don't even know where you get one of those. That makes me think that like your bank vault is like a Scrooge McDuck old school bank vault where they go in and like take a stack of cash out of there. You know what I mean? Like not like- No, I don't go like that. You just gotta show them two forms of ID, you get what you want. Two forms, bro. Yeah. It seemed like Very a lot hard. of, what denomination were those bills? All hundred. <laughs> Goodness gracious, cause I would I get a big bang, I would get a big stack, but I would want small bills just so it looked big. You know what I mean? No, big ones on man. the outside. It would be like no, blue, you do that. green, 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 blue on the no, bottom. No, uh, uh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a welcome call. But then I saw, and I didn't see this till two days later. I had a missed yeah, call from you. You fucked there, yeah, you bogus. I was just about to get to that. Then I call you. But this was here's where I'm stuck because that call was at seven a.m. my time. It was 6 o'clock my time, so you're lying. New York time. 7.06 a.m. So that means I had to call at 5. Seven, and where were you? You were in Portland. L.A. L.A. would mean it was 4 in the morning. You know. <laughs> I know how math works. Seven Why you ain't up? Why you not locked in? Why you fuck you not up? You want to get to it? You got to be up every morning at 6 a.m. Get your ass up. Fuck, And you bro. didn't even answer. And you didn't even call me back. I, did, then you I got didn't a nerd see it until two days later. Right. Then you got a nerd to talk about friends. What type of motherfucker friend is you? You see a motherfucker call, don't answer. I didn't or see it Or not even answer, don't even later. hit a motherfucker back. I assumed it was a uh, like a, a pocket dial. No, or it's not, but... I don't never call you, so why would you assume that? Well, I never well, assume. By the time I saw it, I knew that it was two days later, and so I knew that we'd talk about it on the on the podcast, and that I would most you likely didn't even hit me back. What type of friend? Well, is I you texted with you want back. To kick, the, kick the conversation off, but man, we're good friends, aren't we? Just, I was trying to get a free pass to say shit. crazy shit at a Lakers game. That's the only reason I was bringing up our friendship. But I should have called you back. But I also figured I'd kind of take my hey, licks my publicly. Man, a whole show to merge with me on. You feel me? I can't. <laughs> Get a phone call what type back. Of, what, what were you doing at four in the morning though, bro? Nah, because I wanted to go over the uh the dang shit. Oh, fuck. I was locked in. I was locked in. So I should next time you do that, I'll I'll just hit screen record and we'll put it out. Nah, that's cool. Never worry. That's cool. It's all right. All right, we don't have to do screen record. Damn, so I fucking blew it. Nah, you didn't blow it. It's just note it. You know, I like to know it everything. Fuck, bro. Well, that I did text you after that, and you didn't text me back if we want to get into the weeds, you know what I mean? Yeah, and sounds it, I texted like you nothing but positivity. Last yeah, app doing numbies and a picture of charts with your with uh, your glowing name. At, uh, right, right no up. one asked you about that, but it now sounds like you're telling. That's what it sounds like. Oh, we were talking about this. I didn't do that. Well, Pat, you didn't. That's snitching. I am That's what people get it caught up. You're telling. That's telling. Well, I, I'm also, I, I know this because I don't know if better helps a sponsor, but I am defensive at some times. I'm a defensive person. And, okay. And so that was me being defensive. And so that's- Or telling. Telling, yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was telling. Uh, loose lips sink shit, brother. And yeah, I, I'm, uh -huh. I'm trying to keep and that slow shit. feet don't eat. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> and I'm starving. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> I got a pair of slow ones, bro. I got, well, I have no twitch muscles. Fuck slow Man, twitch bro. muscles. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's, What's wrong with you? It's bad, bro. It, it's, uh, it's, it's not good at all. Hey, proper wild. That's they right. just gave me a, something about proper wild, but I have to uh, I have to go in detail about proper wild real quick because I don't think people understand. So, me and Dennis Schroeder, we up all night playing fucking Call of Duty. We playing at fucking six o'clock in the morning. This is a true story. This literally just happened. I got like three hours of sleep. You feel me? I I get a I get a phone call. My brand my brand manager she hits me. Get your ass up. We got to shoot at twelve. I fuck. Man, I can't do 12. I got three hours of sleep, man. I can't do 12. I got to do three. Ron can't do three. He's busy. I, what the fuck is he doing so fucking busy? I'm the fucking... It's my show. Right. But fuck it. I can't have my way. Cool. Man, I woke up this morning. Okay, let me lock in. I go, hey, give me one of them proper wilds. I pop one of them bitches. Man, it turned up the whole show. No cap. It's insane. Whole show. It's, it's, in it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. I'm, I'm thinking about in, like implementing it in my like 
my pregame ritual. Cause I like I be taking a little some shit to kind of turn me up. I think I go proper wild. I think I gotta I gotta let my teammates know too. I already popped one already. Yeah, I got mine right here. Um, the when you had eighteen, I was like, oh, Pat's off the proper wild. It's like, yeah, oh, season season high. It must be the proper wild, clean all day energy shot, boost your energy, focus, productivity, no jitters, no crash, no preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no horrible chemicals. Those are all the things you don't want, and it doesn't have a little any caffeine, though. I can't let them folks lie to y'all like that. It got a little caffeine in it. Yep, a little bit a little of caffeine, bit. but no bit, jitters, but not though. too much. Yeah, but no jitters, though. I don't feel, feel or None heavy crash, trust me. Natural yeah. tasting, clean ingredients, strawberry, kiwi, apple, lemon, lime. Go to properwild.com slash barstool, 30% off. Bro, it's a great deal. Let me get my proper wild in. But it's organic caffeine, so like, it's it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's incredible. It's yeah. No. It's it's yeah. it's maybe the best energy shot I've ever had in my life. Natural too. Proper organic wild. Caffeine. Proper wild. Go get you some. AD's back, bro. I was fired up about that. I saw you AD's guys back. running down the tunnel, hyping up AD, and I was like, yeah, bro, that's the kind of teammate I want. Yeah, man, it was. Man, change our whole defense when he out there, man. For real, he really a game changer at that rim. So, yeah, it was a vibe. We caught a vibe last night. It was nice. He was in the conversation for Defensive Player of the Year before he got hurt. Like He, he was in the conversation for everything of the year. Yeah, MVP, honestly. he And he for should real. be. He really should and be And he there. fucked with the show. AD? He's, I'm, and I'm going to give him his flowers. You feel me? Love that. He He's the one who told me, hey, Pat, man, you watched that new video of Charleston White? I know. You man, now go check him out. So I get to get on the Charleston White, like rabbit hole. I'm deep in. I'm watching every YouTube, everything. This I don't know, three, four weeks ago. I'm like, okay, cool. So he was the inspiration that made me get on the show. Shout out AD, man. That's awesome. Anybody that's like that, because I wasn't that familiar with Charleston White's game before he came on the show. And I think that finding people like that, that the world has made up their mind about and then having a conversation with them, like you'll agree with some things, you won't agree with some of them, but it's so much more humanizing than being like, I saw this clip. This is what I think of somebody. So I'm definitely going to make it my business not to make up my mind on somebody based off clips. But if AD has more names, (laughs) you know what I mean? (laughs) Throw them at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Definitely let us know. You guys also scooped up uh, Rui Hachimura from Gonzaga, uh, from uh, some Japanese lineage on the squad. Uh, I like, I like, I like what I seen out of him last night. Yeah, it was interesting uh, because he's a wing that can handle the ball. Um, Do you think that? I know some Lakers fans are tired of three guard lineups. Are you tired of three-guard lineups? Do you see it that way? I don't know. Just want to win. Fuck what lineup out there. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it doesn't matter necessarily on yeah. the configuration of the lineup, just whether it's, just it's working. Man, who would play hard and all that, obviously. You know, size and rebounding helps, but just playing hard consistently, you know, that 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 fixes all the, you know, all other small problems that you see and might not see. When a, you hear yeah. when you hear of a trade happening on the team, like uh, is there rumbles in the building beforehand, or do you just get blindsided? Kind of how? Uh, no, it ain't blindsided. It, it's blindsided when you don't know. You know, over the last I don't know five six years, there's been so many trades that you just you're not surprised. You know, you're not surprised if the, a star gets traded. You're not surprised if the you know lowest man on the totem pole get traded. You know, it's. You know, it used to be a surprise, you know, oh, oh, Woj bombs this and, you know, shams this, you know what I'm saying? So, and I can't believe I'm saying their name on my, you know, on my pod. They ain't even showed me no love, you know, but. uh, That is funny that they didn't show you any love. No, you know what's funny, though? They show me closet love, most of them. (laughs) The worst. Like, yeah, Pat, man, I love the pod. Yo, you subscribe? No. But you don't love the pod. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> people need to subscribe, dude. People need yeah, to. Yeah, then I hit a guy with, I forgot his, I my I, I remember his name. I'm not going to say his name. I go, he Pat, man, you got a nice pod. He media guy. I said, yeah, you do too. He okay. Are you subscribed? He hesitated. I know, that's cool. But I subscribe to yours, though. Wow. And take that as a fucking as a warning, everybody out yeah. there. All right, no, not we a warning, but just like pods. If yeah, you but just don't be us, watching. Just smoke. Like yeah, like you feel me? Watch my shit, but don't subscribe. That's like you know what I'm saying. You just been some, on some nosy shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. That's all that is. The don't fucking no neighbors looking shit. over the fence like it's home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you the, the, the lady, 
fixing her gown after she done called the you know neighborhood watch on motherfuckers asking, yeah, what? Looking through What's the blinds out there, y'all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know? People, nah. there's a lot of people who um, watch the show through the clips. There's a lot of people who, and we, we do a great job of getting a lot of clips out there so people can see it. But like, uh, there's more to the conversation than the clips. And yeah. a lot of people are watching the clips. Like people, people and, we, and we appreciate that. Don't get it twisted. Of course. We appreciate people watch, watching the clips, but I'm talking about like, when you want to hear some some solid shit, like you got to watch the whole thing. It's really a vibe. Like, yeah, it really it's more is. a show. It's a podcast for sure, but it's you got to watch it's it. It's really bro. a show. You have, like, really have to watch show. it. Um, but yo, so when K Nun gets traded, is it is it like a thing where you hit him on his line and you're like, hey, nah, fun playing with I'm you? Not, or is that I'm not Joe? that guy because I know you know if I get traded or I get a new contract or I get hurt, you know I know the first couple of days I'm not gonna really uh, register the texts because I'm getting so many. You know I'm getting thirty texts. You know man, get well soon or thirty texts or congratulations or thirty texts. Damn, that's fucked up. Why they trade you? You know so right. It don't hit until I'm able to kind of relax where I am and chill. You know I. Hit him yesterday on some Instagram shit, but you know I'm gonna make sure I give him a call after, you know he done settled in a little bit, you know, so it, you know it, it hit different. Mutually beneficial trade seems like he's already doing well out in Washington, and obviously yeah. you guys got some size and a good young player, dude. I think Hachimura yeah. is like a, a stud pickup for you guys. I think that's a very nice pickup. Tell me about this flop, bro. Which one? I don't know. Was there more than one? Hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, people are I get the ball, boom, pump fake, right corner. Bye. I got you up off your feet. Okay, cool. I see PG help. Okay, I, I think I do mini Euro to try to get me, try to open up the passing lane. I don't know if Terrence, man, swiped down real fast, but I felt something. <laughs> but then as I watched it, I, I didn't get hit. But I felt something. Maybe it was the wind from the pressure. It was the wind, bro. I, I I felt something, and then you know, I, then I moved my headband. I damn, did my headband just move? Or did I just <laughs> fuck that? No, I got hit. Hey, ref, call that shit, man. Yeah, I just got hit in the head, man. What the fuck? It felt like I got hit. I thought I got hit. Hey. Game, the, the game is the game, dude. I, I don't understand what people do. No, no, don't I know. didn't say that. You said that. I said that. Of course. The yeah, game right, is. Right, right. I mean, I, I, don't I thought agree that, with that you got. I felt I, I got hit. I thought I got hit. I looked. I didn't get hit. I still feel like I got hit. Maybe it was on some angels with outfield type shit. Some, something hit me. <laughs> Terrence Mann had an, an angel. He had a devil on his shoulder. Because then, then he went down and got fouled and at the free throw line. Ah, bro, you hit me in the head. He, no, I did not. I didn't? <laughs> I could have sworn you hit me something. Then he goes, yeah, I taught you how to. He's like, yeah, you the one who taught me how to do that. I, damn. Well, I for sure know you hit me in the head because I'd be fouling anyway. So for sure. So, yeah, I don't know. It ain't adding up. Yo, it was. It, I mean, I was looking for a sniper in the crowd. You went down. Don't do that. You, you're supposed to be a friend. I'm saying, I, I think that there's an art to, to doing what you're doing. I think that there's yeah. like everybody in the league does it. I felt something. I mean, it's like, how do you get calls in the league? You know what I mean? Like, you'll get hit in the face and act like a tough guy. I felt something. Yeah. I saw something. Not, all right, say less. That's what we're talking about. I saw something. That's what I mean. I think that it was like an unfounded conversation that everybody's having. I didn't see a flop there. I just saw people talking about a flop. There you go. I, it, it seemed like it was aggressive. Um, but regardless, you know what I mean? It, it, it's part of the game. Um <laughs> Get to this Jonathan Isaac thing, bro. Did you see that Jonathan Isaac made it back? I commented under the, uh, under the, uh, and his church had a little get together, fully healed. The pastor was going off, caught a vibe. Yeah, I listened to it. It was inspirational. It was motivational. Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I, I enjoy, I enjoy stories like that. You know, I really do. It had been a while since the since he had played, and people really have strong opinions of Jonathan Isaac. Yeah, yeah I like him. You know, long defender. He gives me like, like, you know. And I know it's been a while since he played, but he gives me like Jay McDaniel vibes. I'm a big fan of Jay McDaniel. You know what I'm saying? T Wolves, just long, lengthy, can do a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? Can do a little bit of everything. So. I'm happy back. Yeah, I think that's why they drafted him out of Florida State, and it seems like that. Magic team has some decent decent length uh, as far as like defenders and stuff like that. Yeah. But but uh, yeah, he was he was polarizing for a lot of reasons. But like he he's back in the league now. Do you think that dudes in the league like care as much as the charged up media members who see 
what's going on with him and like make a no, hard I'll, opinion? No, I, I mean, I don't even, you know, I care that, you know, people, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to say that because some people say that, uh, you know, you, you might feel like somebody will care. You might feel like somebody uh whatever, but I don't know. It's, I think that's individual base. You feel me? I care. I felt I felt something when I found out that he was, you know, coming back. So, you know, that was my vibe. Yeah, love that. Um, I've seen some interesting stuff at press conferences, specifically Lakers press conferences recently. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, dude. I'm curious what it's like to be up there. Interesting answers from you. Interesting answers from Russ. They be, hey, they be, I hit the reporter with, are you happy you went viral? <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not my job to go viral. Ah, okay. But yeah, you went viral. But they, you know, they're very strategic how they ask questions, you know, and obviously different places, different people, you know, media is different in Houston than it was with the Clippers, than it was with Minnesota, than it was with the Lakers. So who's the most negative? Uh, I don't know. I don't even I, Of the cities. Of the cities. Is Los Angeles more negative? I don't know. Like what you I don't read deep into it, you know. I don't read deep into it, but you feel it more in LA, obviously because it's LA. But you know, I'm 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 in the media now, so I don't. You know, I'm only listening to me. You got to get in one of these press conferences, dude. You got to be in the. In I just had one, and the guy was like, "You know, you had uh, Dame had a uh, slow shoot night, that type of shit." So I was just in a little a little a little vibe that I I was like, "Bro, what's up?" You know. So. But uh, like I'm saying, as a media member, you got to be on the other side. You got to be out there asking the good questions at at the at the press conference. You got to grab that credential and get it, get in, mix it up. I don't like that though. Yeah, why not? I mean, because like you know, your, the job as a media is to get information. Right now, it's you know the most viral thing someone says gets you more. I don't know, leverage than the next media guy, you know? So if you built your career on just viral sensations, like that's not media. Like that's just, you know, you record everybody that's going crazy on the interview or you ask, you know, questions that people might want to go off on, you know, like that's not what the job of media is. The job of media is to give you information and like tell the truth. Cause I think that stems from the fact that these days, a lot of people only read the headline. They only yeah. read the tweet. They don't click on the story. They don't read the entire story. They don't get to the bottom of the quote. And I think that leads media members to be headline searching or like a little tweet searching. You know what I mean? Like they want something that they can fit in a tweet, that they can fit in a headline, right. a tiny little sound bite that can tell their and side of the And less is more when you tweet. You feel me? Like less is more. So I can, I can say uh, – Somebody can shoot an air ball and I don't have to say the name. I'm, oh my God, he's trash. You know, but everyone in the world knows what you're talking about. Right. That's not the truth. It's not a guy's not trash, motherfucker. Average 18 points a game. How the fuck is he trash? But now the whole perception of everybody who just watched the guy shoot the air ball, all of a sudden he's trash now. Regardless of what the numbers say, what he's done in the past, what he's done the game before, what he's done two plays before, what he's done at the end of the game. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's wild. Because people want to reduce it's reductive. Like you want to reduce the amount of words. So that means you wind up reducing the story. So you don't tell right. the entire story and maybe him missing a shot. Isn't the entire story when somebody takes a lot of shots during a basketball game and right. even more throughout the course of a season, you know, one right. shot probably isn't the entire story. Um, we've seen a lot of this, this year, walking the dog. What does walking the dog mean to you? Don't start that. I'm talking about rolling the ball up the court. What are you talking about? Oh, okay, okay. Because last time you asked me that I know what soaking mean, and I'm talking about thinking a motherfucker crying or some shit. The time. So you, the boys yeah. in Utah getting wild. So, but uh, so what walking the dog. I was just talking. To, you thought it was like some kind of sexual thing or something yeah, like that. Yeah, everything that comes out your mouth, I feels like a trick lately. Yeah, bro. So this walking the dog shit down in Alabama, these dudes are actually having sex. No, no I'm kidding. Oh, I'm, not, look at me. I'm like this now. What? <laughs> it, no, no. Walking the dog. Shot clock doesn't start until you touch the ball. So yeah. this is something that we used to see in college or like high school type of shit. But now you see it in lots of games. And I think mm -hmm. Ja, like, wait, he waited like 40 seconds one time or something to pick up the ball. They roll the ball, like the perfect roll. So I don't blame Ja. I blame the guy who rolled it. Really? But sometimes you got to remind your teammates, hey, 
don't roll it to the side. I mean, I have to pick it up fast. Like, just roll it down the middle. And then they roll down the middle, but it's a slow roll. So now you, like, blowing at the ball. <laughs> so the ball can get momentum to go forward. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't blame the person that's picking up the ball. I, I blame the person that's... That's rolling it? That's, yeah, that's taking the ball out. I, I blame the defender, honestly, for not just, like, getting... Like, if you want the game to go faster, just get up on the ball so he has to touch yeah, the ball. Yeah, but it's not that easy because you get on the ball... Blow Real quick, you. a guy catches and, and goes. Like now, you 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 you're hindering your defense. You know what I'm saying? So like, it sounds like you feel me. That'd be the logical answer. No, just get up and take the ball. But as soon as you get up, a guy just go rip. Now it's you know, five on four going downhill. You don't want that. Um, do you think that that's something that they'll change the rule about? No, I mean he can't change that. Yeah. I think that when things start going that. Uh, like disrupt the game flow. I feel like that's when the NBA winds up changing rules when they try and do some, I wouldn't say funny shit, but they'll try and make the game flow faster or like close up loopholes. You think that there's no. any chance of that? NBA is doing a great job doing what they do, adding what they add. It's a great league, the best league I've ever played in. Damn, better than, uh, I saw that Olympiacos picture. <laughs> yeah, it's the better, it's the best league I've ever been in in my life. It, it's helped me take care of my family. My kids, kids, I can't wait. I can't wait to see my grandkids and just just kiss them on the forehead. Just be so thankful for the money I've earned in this league, the respect I've gotten, I've earned in this league, and the you know the you know everything that comes with this league. I love the NBA and I love this. League. What would you do if your kids said that they didn't want to have kids? All right, cool. Do what the fuck y'all want to do. I'm that parent. You feel me? Yeah. I get a call. I get a call. Uh, you need to talk to you know. You need to talk to your son. Every time some bad shit happen, now all of a sudden he's just my person. <laughs> <laughs> that so, you right, somehow cool. birthed by just right, right. a single handedly. Yeah. So yeah, he's doing this thing. My son doing this thing in school where you know he gets all A's. You know he gets all A's, but he does this thing in school where like teacher gets tab. I mean gets computer, open up tab, does work, finishes work. You know before all the kids open up new tab, how to download. Roblox on a computer, like bro, like on a computer, like what at school, you know, <laughs> like uh, okay, cool, get to, uh, take showers, freshen up, get right, put on clothes, sees mom lipstick, wants to paint the bathroom, like wow, this motherfucker, wow. <laughs> he's just but, trying to express his artisticness. So uh, obviously that's why I tell you know I, I tell his mom that, and and when he's with me, you know I let him, you know I, I let him do what the fuck you want to do. All the doors are open. Hey, run outside and, you know, climb trees, you know. Do what the fuck you want to do. I need to see what type of motherfucking kid you is. I need to see what the fuck I'm dealing with. What are you made of? Yeah, I need to see how solid you are. Are you just under the bed on some on some other shit? Get your ass from under there. Come right, on. Right, some Kevin McAllister, outside, yeah. scared of the outdoors, scared of the basement right. type of stuff. You need to see if right. he falls out of the apple tree, if he lands hard, <laughs> how is he going to act? Right, right. You feel me? Okay, what you doing on that roof? Get your, bit, get your ass down. Get your bad ass down. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... Like, I'm that parent, so yeah. My son going through a little phase right now. Y'all help me, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish I had so, some advice to give you, but I feel like that's just part of growing up. Neither of those yeah, seem, things solid. seem malicious. Seemed like he was yeah. trying to, you know, make some art and uh, play play a game that he likes to play, a world-building yeah. game. And he likes basketball. But I think he's playing basketball because I'm playing basketball. You know, I think it's one of those things. So I go, oh, you had a game today? Yeah, I had a game today, but he's not really giving me confidence because my my older daughter plays. She's a stud, right? So he's but he's not really giving me the confidence as my you know my baby girl. I, you know what? Put your little sister on the phone now. Little sis, she's five. You feel me? She go tell me anything I need to know. What is going on with him twenty four seven? Hey, Naomi, how you doing, baby? I'm okay, daddy. Hey, your 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 son. I mean your your brother. He had a game today. She, yeah, daddy, he didn't score no points, no points at all, <laughs> no, daddy. No. And he was scared to shoot. No. And and they lost 63, daddy. No. Oh, okay. Was how was he after the game? He wasn't angry or nothing, daddy. Oh, okay, cool. Put your brother back on the phone. You know, so like if you, I want, you need if I want the inside information. If I want the inside information, you feel me? I go, I go, I'll go right to baby girl. So yeah. Yeah, if he's nice painted on the wall with lipstick, like it's fine if he just lost the game and he's pissed off and he's showing out because he's he's uh, he can't handle losing. But you can't have him be complicit or complacent with a loss. No, I uh -uh, can't. Can't. She'll tell me that too. Oh, Dad, you won't believe what Elijah did today. What would he do, baby? 
Oh, he took mommy lipstick and he painted everywhere. Like <laughs> art daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I do it, I'm snitching, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she a vibe. She a vibe. No, that's hilarious, dude. That sounds like a, an absolute joy. But also, like, maybe basketball isn't his number one thing, dude. He might be a football guy. He might be a hockey yeah. guy. Yeah, I know. He just, I got to see, you know. But then that shows me stuff about him, too. You know, okay, cool, my son. You know, he's done stuff to try to make me happy instead of trying, you know, you learn you learn more about the kids. Mm. He, so he might be playing basketball because he's like, oh, daddy plays basketball. I'm trying to emulate. Yeah, you know, so that shows me, okay, cool. I can't have you trying to do what I do because you're not me. I need you to have your own lane. You feel me? So I need to do things as a parent to make him feel comfortable with having his own lane. You know, parenting is a real thing. Oh, man. it's uh, You're yeah. seriously influencing somebody's life. Yeah, for sure. So, like, I don't play with that shit. Facts. Let's talk about New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam Vodka is born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka. This heartfelt commitment to excellence has enabled them to produce an American vodka of superb taste and unparalleled smoothness. Their liquid is rated 93 points, five times distilled, three times filtered. While making great vodka is a passion, New Amsterdam is mostly inspired by those who stay true to who they are and share an unbridled passion for everything they do from pursuing dreams to celebrating with friends to having an epic night out. your car break it down and you don't have gas money. That's right. And you like to drink alcohol. Fuel up. You have to keep it on, bro. You have to keep, you, you gotta go to keep it on store. you like the, like the glizzy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it on you like the glizzy. And I ain't talking about hot dogs. You hear me? Keep it going, bro. A hundred percent. I know what you're talking about. And the people know what I'm talking about when I say New Amsterdam Vodka, the official vodka of Barstool Sports. Find your wins with New Amsterdam Vodka. Mm, that stuff is delicious. I have a question about something that I've seen in the media. And this is in the NFL media. And they made an... I don't know a lot about them, so... Right. Okay. But I saw... Two people talking about this, Shady McCoy, and I also saw Soft Gardner talking about this, the presumptive rookie of the year stud draft pick from the Jets. And he said that Patrick Beverly is the same as Eli Apple. He said, Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I seen that. Right. But I've been so busy, you know, trying to win basketball games. I don't know who Eli Apple is, or I don't know what team he plays for. So if you can please give me a little knowledge about Eli. Now I can, you know, and then based on what I see off YouTube, I thought I'd leave this, you know, my podcast that can help me understand totally what they're referring to. I'll download some information about Eli Apple to you because... Is he, is he a good defender? It sounds like he has to be a defender then. He is a defensive player. He's a cornerback. He's a good... Is he good? He's a good cornerback. Well, I'm great, so... He's a good cornerback. No, no, I'm great, so you can't compare that. Right? There's a couple things that I would kind of disagree with. I think that he was he was a top 10 draft pick. You know what I mean? Okay. So he was, I was second round. Second round, you know, and he was a top 10 draft pick in the NFL where, like, that's pretty much, that. that's like, uh, you know, there's seven rounds in that draft. It's not like there's seven rounds in the NBA draft. There's You had to play overseas. You kind of got it out the mud to make it through the league. He was, uh, you know, expected to be this great player. Didn't work out on his first team because he... Oh, well, okay, well, we're not the same now. Worked out on every team I played for. Here he we doesn't... Go, keep going. Well, that, and this is the biggest thing where I think that people are not understanding the differences between you. He's not a great locker room guy. He, oh no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't that's play. where it stopped. I think that that's where it was yeah. kind of full stop. Like uh, Pat Bev, great locker room guy. Ask any one of my teammates, and ask the stars, and ask the rookie, and ask the guy that's that's next to the rookie that's been in the league like only like four or five years. Yeah, I don't play. I send my teammates clips of every single game of different matchups. I've been doing that shit for like three, four years. I don't miss a game, a game. Like regardless of what the coaches show. No, I got my own guy who on payroll. Boom, boom, boom. Give me clips of the, the, the two best guards. Let me send it to my team every game. Now it's getting to the point where I send it to my teammates and the coaching staff. Like, I don't play about my shit or my teammates. Like, for real. So, like, can't yeah, compare me when it comes to that. That's where I can't. drew the line almost immediately because there's, like, uh, he has this, like, kind of, like, talking, talking shit online kind of connotation where it's just, like, okay, you don't back down from a verbal or, you know, uh, any any type of back and forth, is like with words, whatever. No, I ain't with that. You feel me? I might, I might, you know what I'm saying? I might entertain a, a interesting tweet here and there, but like, I ain't with all that, you know. See me in person. Let's chat in person. I'm, I'm that guy. 
Yeah, and so that I, I'd say that's almost a, a bit of a difference. And I think that there's a lot of guys in the league that don't like Eli Apple. I think that if you ask, there's more people that don't like him than do like him, which I think that's also different for you. No, yeah. like people, people, people might not like me, but they might respect me, or people might like me but won't say it because you know what what comes with me at times. You know what I'm saying? So the respect is there, but okay, cool. I ain't gonna give him his flowers, but I see him though. Like, I had guys, you know, like, man, I fuck with the pod, you know. But, you know, won't say it out in public. And I don't need a motherfucker to say it out in public. It's better when you just tell me straight up, face to face. You feel me? So, like, that's how my vibe is. But I ain't really got no beef with nobody. You feel me? Everything basketball with me. I ain't I ain't really trying to go out and be like, uh, hey, I ain't never told Steph Curry I beat your ass. I ain't never told James Harden, you feel me, I beat your ass. Like, you know what I mean, man? It's, it's competition. We competing at high levels. Like, you're an offensive stud. I'm a defensive guru. Like, this is how I feel. You feel me? I like to feel like I'm the best on-ball defensive player in the, in, in, the, in the world. Like, the NBA is the best league in the world, so that makes it the, the best in the world. So, like, it's competition. I ain't never turned Kyrie Irving, I beat your ass. Like, what type of weird-ass shit is that? <laughs> you know, so, like, it is weird. you hear those type of things, like, you know, that don't, that don't, that don't even, that don't even go with my, you know, I don't even they don't even fit with my person, you know, persona. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that, well, in some ways, like you did get under his skin, which is like What is that though? What is under your skin with pros? It ain't this ain't high school. What do you mean? Get under your skin. You know that coming in. Oh shit, I got Pat. I know coming in. Hey Pat, man, let's go, let's go smoke hook. No, I ain't smoking no hook of the night, fellas. I got dang. <laughs> no, sir, no, sir. I ain't smoking no hookah. I got Steph. You know what the fuck going on. You know what's going on before your matchups. Or if you don't, then that's even more why you should get hit in your motherfucking head. Because you ain't prepared then. Because I am. Straight up. I'm prepared. I know exactly what the fuck Damon Little doing. I know exactly what offense they've been running. Okay, cool. My, okay, cool. He like the Iverson cut coming out that corner in order to get to his left hand. Okay, cool. He got me that one time. Let me see how I'm going to guard the second time. Mix it up. Like, I'm... I'm prepared all the time. So, man, nobody. Man. So, Pat Bev, not like Eli Apple, is how I'd put it in my words. I didn't say that. You said I, I've never that. met the guy. I said yeah. how I'd put it in my words. I think the only similar things is, is that uh, you both can get under people's skin. But I am i don't understand what that means, get under people's skin. Like, somebody hit me with some buckets, they not getting under my skin. I just got to find different tactics to try to get the job done. I think getting okay, under cool. under someone's skin, the way I phrase it, is like when you make them uh, try to take it to a different level or they um, start acting outside of their personality. You know what I mean? No, I've never, but yeah, I've, as a defender, I've never acted that way. But if somebody was like cooking me. You know what I'm, you understand what I'm saying? Like right, if I'm locking they didn't get under your skin. You have right, thick skin. But I, yeah, but I, yeah, but that's never happened to me ever in my career where like somebody got me under my skin. You feel me? Like, None. And people go, Mitchell, you push him and you done that. Like, nah, that's just me wanting to do what the fuck I wanted to do. <laughs> Feel that. Um, it's a good conversation. I think people are actually going right. to like that, too. Let's get into this. Uh, uh, make it make sense, dude. I want to I want to get into to Pat Bev, bro. And I don't know if we should jump into the starting five right away or we should talk about your first date right away, bro. Go first date. What was your first date? What do you count as date and what age are we going for? I, I agree that this is a tough question. What I you... tell you one, though, no lie. Oh, I remember this. This is a good one. True story. True fucking story. Mom's working at this nail salon. It's somebody there. Mom's name is Lisa. Someone there that's working with her name is Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa has daughter my age. Obviously, mom has me same age. Parent of daughter Mona Lisa is like Puerto Rican mixed with like a little Italian mixed with mm. a little black, like long, but long hair, nice body. Like it fits. So mother is a beautiful mother. Mother has daughter. Obviously, beautiful daughter. I seen this. I'm talking about I, like I've never seen a person in my life. I said, "I oh, damn, I don't know." I'm 12, 13. Don't remember her name. Don't remember her name. Really, don't remember her name. If if I did, I'd say it. Um, movie date. Cool. We gonna go to the movies Saturday. Movie date Tuesday. 
all right, cool. Like Tuesday here, I'm locked in. Oh, Saturday, Saturday, I'm on some real Norbert shit. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you me? mean by that? <laughs> Bro, I'm on some Norbert shit. Like, you know, he, oh, Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> like I'm real on some counting the days down. Can't wait to see your type. <laughs> Cross him off on the calendar. Right. I'm talking about, okay, cool. Saturday come throughout the whole week. I'm excited. I grab fit. Okay, cool. You want me, you know, I, I really ain't driving now. So you feel me? Mom's got to drop me off at the movie theater. All right, cool. I get there. You feel me? I got a little change on me. I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I'm fly. I'm, I'm solid. You feel me? Like it's her, three of her friends. I, oh, okay, cool. They about to do their things. It's about to be me and her. Get there. Get popcorn. Another guy walks up. I right, who these? What's going on here? What? Use me for the date that she wanted to. No. Oh, man. No. You talk about feeling pain at a young age as a young boy. Whip me right in shape when it come to women, though. Whip me right in shape. Oh, bro, that's a Wh villain origin story. Ooh, I'm talking about, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm talking about, I ain't even done with the story. I'm in the, I'm talking about, I'm in the movie theater. They in the middle, you know, it's, Move there, it's the middle, then you got the sides. Right. Right, right. I'm sitting next to the dude who with my, the chick that I'm supposed to be, I'm sitting next to his homie. Oh. <laughs> no. And we on the side. Oh, my God. <laughs> but cool, I needed that. I needed to go through that as, as a young toddler so I could, okay, cool. All right, I see what's going on. All right, okay, let me, let me lock in. Let me, matter of fact, let me go to the gym. You feel me? Get some shots up. Yeah. <laughs> feel me? So, yeah. Oh my God, dude, that shit is devastating. Nothing hurts more than that, like young love heartbreak when it's And it like, was summertime, what? too. You know how summertime love is. That shit, like the fucking notebook. Cause you, you really write this Yeah, you make it yeah. up in your mind. You write the story in your mind, and then like it happens, and it's like, oh fuck, this is yes. nowhere near what I expected it to be in my mind. Yeah, I was cool. I was good. I'm just glad I got it out the way early. You feel me? Like, okay, cool. That was my one. Toughen up. Make sure you don't feel that feeling again. Never feel love again. Never feel another emotion again. No, 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 Stuff no. Stuff that. No, no, but didn't I mean, say that's that. what, I, that's what you tell yourself that's, at the time. You yeah, know what I time, mean? You're like, oh, I'm never, yeah, gonna, okay. I'm never gonna love a, a, a woman again. <laughs> let me right. Let me focus on this cheese. Let me focus on my craft. Get my ball. Let me go to the park. Fuck the movies. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah, I'm cool. But yeah, that was my, that was my one. I wonder how she feel now, though. I bet she's sick. Yeah. I bet she's got it. She's heartbroken. My stomach hurts. <laughs> With her multicultural background having ass. <laughs> Going to have my back though, bro. Look, gang. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah she should have. Uh, I mean, she she should have made a, a, a different decision if she really wanted to. Mom a picks life. me up. She, how'd it go? I don't want to talk about it, mom. <laughs> Y'all, okay. <laughs> she knew. <laughs> you bought the popcorn? Did you, you that was all that you spent all the oh, money? Oh, spent some bread. I'm oh I'm tricking that little paper off, man. That shit burned a hole through my pocket, man. All to get through to be let down. Crying in the popcorn. This shit tastes all extra right. salty. Or <laughs> they pull up a car full of the homies. Like, damn, they driving nice too. Oh, okay. They get money. Okay, cool. Damn, dude. I can't believe that she was finessing like that, dude. That is sorry to happen. I'm just glad it happened at an early age. Why couldn't she just tell the guy, the other guy that she was going to the you know what I mean? Like, why even? I, I'm, I'm thinking that I was the reason for her to even get to the movie theater. <sighs> you see what I'm saying? Damn, dude. Mona Lisa. Yeah. Damn, bro. That Sick name. Now, every time I see the Mona Lisa, I look at them. You're like, fucking bitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> you can't that. say that. <laughs> I'm, no. I'm talking in the dog sense of the term that yeah. I was saying before. Damn. So that was my one. Uh, fascinating, bro. While we're on movies, bro, the, the Oscar nominations just came out. Um, you, I haven't seen Avatar yet. I want, I'm dying to see Avatar. Yeah, but they say it's three hours, so I'm the type of guy that like three hour gives me a week to watch it. You know, you're gonna break it down into chunks of a three hour. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, I'll get home from shoot around. I get from the hotel from shoot around. Let me watch 20 minutes of Avatar before you know. I can't I do it like asleep. that. How do you do it like that? I, I think it's better that way. You, you capture more but it's small increments you just piece them together but i need the whole um energy of the movie i need like the mood changes like i want to go on the journey but i'm also the guy i get an album and i don't listen to i listen to whole albums i want to hear the first song to the last song instead of just like the hits i'm not just going to go back and play the hits i like to listen to the hits then i like to go through the the, the album but i have to hear the hits first so i can see okay cool 
Really? The one before the hit, that might be trash. <laughs> or, the, you know, the, the third one after the hit, that might be a really good, that might be a sleeper. You know, like, like I'm that guy. Yeah, sometimes they buffer the hits with some trash. <laughs> like, we need to so, fill this shit out. Um, th- is there any other movies you saw this year that you thought thought were really good? I, um, I'm watching, you know, I'm big on TV shows. So, oh, okay. uh, the season two of Your Honor just came out. The Oh, in. gotta uh, watch BMF, that. I'm locked in. We crashed on Apple. Locked in. I didn't Defending see that Jacob from Apple. Locked the fuck in. Uh, yeah, I'm, you know, that type of shit. Man. I'm all TV shows. <laughs> Okay, I got some movie recommendations for you. I'm going to hit you with go. three real quick. One, oh. RRR. It's an Indian movie, and it's an action movie. And it's, dude, it's, it's action-packed. It's what, fire. What? You going to give me a, a, a show, or you just want me to thug it out and just try to find it on my own? It's on Netflix. Okay, very simple. So Netflix, RRR. RRR, Done. classic. Two. Instant classic. Two, Tar. Tar. I keep going past it, but I see it got it got nominated for um, yeah. I I I keep going past it though, cause yeah. See, it's about ignorant. this woman who's uh she she's a uh, she's a gay composer. She's a woman a, who's a, a composer, music, right? She and she's like a brilliant composer. Yeah, I seen the trailer. I seen the trailer. I'm familiar. But she's struggling with uh you know t- time passing and, and the world changing around her. Um, and then three, I'm gonna give you an Irish one. It's called The Banshees of Inshirin. And it's and it's fire, bro. It's fire. It's about a dude who his best friend. Movie starts off. His best friend tells him he doesn't want to be friends with him anymore. Oh, back to oh, back to. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> he did him dirty. He said, "I'm not. I don't want to be friends with you anymore." And he's like, "Why the fuck don't you want to be friends with me?" And that's what the movie's about. Him trying to okay. figure it out. All of them classics. All of them should win awards. Love that. Thank you. My pleasure, brother. Thank you for the. Hey, man, hey make sure you text me because you know me. I. I got 12,000 things going. Just text me so I, so I remember. So this is good for this road trip. I need some new movies. And, and dude, yeah, you're about to be on the East Coast swing. Boys you linking up or you go... Uh, I'm going to Arizona, but can we link up on like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or something like that? Well, you going to Arizona for the Rough and Rowdy? No, it's for a gambling competition. I like host a gambling competition throughout football season. Oh, that's love. It's a betting competition. It should be dope. This is the finals. This is like the best bettors on the Barstool Sportsbook coming together. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be here on the weekend, but maybe one of the mornings, you know what I mean? We go grab a, a coffee or something like that, do a run no, through I'll the city. I'll drink coffee, but I'll take a tea. A tea. We'll go grab a tea or something like that, do a run through the city, maybe give some money to some homeless people, uh, chase the pigeons, New York shit, jump in a puddle, make it splash type of shit. Maybe not. It's your call, really. Uh, no, I ain't doing that shit. No, I'm cool. <laughs> we'll go to, let's go to a luxury hotel then, dude. Let's go to the Amman in New no, York no, and get exactly an That's exactly what we go do. We go, yeah, we go get some tea. We go look at some views. Yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe if you're free, we look at a little art. Yeah, that'd be it. You don't have to do too much. That's why, let's look at some, some, bro, you like modern art or photography or what, bro? We'll look at some Martin Pars if you like photography, some modern yeah, art. We'll go to the show MoMA. Show me a dope place. Show me a dope place. Say less. I, I, I will show you a dope place, bro. Promise, I'll promise you that. Uh, Not an actually dope spot, but a, <laughs> oh, a okay. place that's nice that has good art. Because they do have weed legalized in New York now. You can buy it like on every single corner. I'm not going to take you to, to a dope place like that. Not that kind of no. dope place. I'm going to take you to a place where we can observe some modern art. Check out how uh, you know how, how the the most artistic minds. I heard they're just doing lipstick on the walls, dude. Your your kid might have yeah, been up to something. He on his way. He <laughs> on his way. Hey, hey, tell me what's about, what's this. Uh, Metal block that somebody had. Uh, <laughs> you saw the tungsten? That's, come on, you know I'm locked in, bro. <laughs> you are, bro. That did it. That did numbies on the TikTok, bro. You just had. Bro, put what up- was what was that? So that's a coworker of mine. This dude named Austin, who's Dave Port- Portnoy's personal assistant. Not personal. He like he's his everything guy. Um, he paid forty five hundred dollars for a block of tungsten, which he said was the most dense metal in the world. It's really like maybe the sixth or seventh most dense metal, but it's a block of tungsten. It's 50 pounds. It's almost impossible to pick up with you one pick hand. up. Yeah, I've seen that. It's crazy, bro. It just, and they it, saying how cold it was. Did it stay cold? It stays pretty cold, dude. It's, it's bro, if you want to invest in something, you want to flex on your teammates, bro, bring around some tungsten. Bring around some rare metals around the team, dude. Show everybody on the team what the fuck is up with this tungsten.
What did you think of it? You were looking at this tungsten. It seemed like you were perplexed by it. Yeah, that shit's like vibranium. My like, damn, what's that? I want one. You do want one. So Hell yeah, I want one. Let, put it in a glass case, but put it on the angle, turn that bitch around like this stuff. <laughs> Yo. Look at that damn pad. You got vibranium, bro? Yeah, bro, I'm locked in. Yeah. <laughs> what is that, bro? Everybody's buying Rolls Royces and like fucking Richard Mille, and you're buying the fucking vibranium, bro. You got the fucking rotating precious metals, rare yeah, fucking tungsten. It, right. it, it truly is a vibe, dude. We, did, we, we got to get on some, because like, Silver is cool, whatever. Get silver anywhere, bro. Silver, not that precious. Gold, pretty cool. Platinum, fantastic. Diamonds, girl's best friend. Everybody loves diamonds, but tungsten? Where do you even see that, bro? You don't even, yeah. you put on a tungsten watch. That was a good one. You can't even pick up the wrist, bro. Tungsten's a classic. Let's talk about Manscaped, bro. Let's talk about Manscaped. Breaking news, Manscaped sells beard products now. That's right. They are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit from a beard trim to a fresh shave. Is this is it right here? Is that Manscaped? Brother, I think that that's something different that you're holding in your hand, but I... Beard. <laughs> beard. I'm talking about beard trimmer with a D, bro. A beard. Oh, I think you're talking about the beard. Like, <laughs> let's get white boy wasted. No, you're I'm talking, talking about, about getting James the cut. Harden, bro. I'm talking about how he came, keeps his... I mean, you got a, a, you have a beard, and you don't let yours... My shit was patchy, though, bro. I got to get my patches right. You got a... You got an Apache beard, bro. But the, but but you, you don't need have to, one. The, yeah, bro. My shit is baseball, bro. My shit is yeah, bitch, man. Thirteen year old. I'm a fucking. Face. I'm a bitch, bro. It's, it is what it is. But uh, Manscaped, <laughs> it's okay. Positive self talk only. That's how I play. But let's talk about Manscaped, though. They're for guys who want to get their beard hair right. From a, a beard trim to a fresh shave, the technology behind the Beard Hedger Pro Kit allows you to shape your signature beard look. If it's a stubble, if it's a short beard, you need this stuff, and it starts with the Beard Hedger, an electric beard trimmer. They just sent it to me. It's at my desk. I'm about to be oh, going to Oh, that's why you're looking so fresh. Ain't nobody dope as me. Et cetera, bro. Et cetera, et cetera. You know how it goes. The titanium coated T blade is tough on hair, but smooth on your face. Single stroke efficiency. You know, most of the time it's more than one stroke, but for this one, single stroke efficiency, beard shampoo and conditioner, beard oil, beard balm. So you can get 20% off and free shipping. Use code PatBev at manscaped.com. That's 20% off free shipping. Manscaped.com. Just use promo code PatBev. Manscaped's beard hedger. One stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. We should get to this wind down and we should do this draft because I I, I think that the draft is it's going to be a different one because we've talked about a lot of NBA stuff. We talked a lot about a, a lot of ballers, but this one, or this draft, I want to talk about Italian food. Yeah, yeah, he's in gamer formation. He's leaning forward because I know Pat takes Italian food dead seriously, picks up ball, starts throwing it in his hands so he can start thinking better the way that the Kennedys threw around the football when they talk politics. Pat Bev talking Italian food is a must listen. So there's two ways we could do this. We could do a standard starting five of just your top five Italian foods, or we could break it into categories, Italian Pasta, meat, appetizer, dessert, and drink. So we could do one of each of those to make our starting five, or it could just be all Italian foods, free for all, and you put them at a position. So how do you want to do it, bro? Okay, I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna just go down the whole thing, and I'm gonna go down this pretty, you know, fairly uh, quick too. All right. All right. I'll br I'll open up this wine while while you do that. We got the machete, one of my personal favorites. Absolutely fantastic, California red, affordable Is that the machete. Affordable. Wax okay, top. Cool. That's what we go do. Anytime I'm at a table before I ask, I need sparkling water. Prelate green, no preferably. And I need to play the limes, sir. Please. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, no problem, Mr. Barry. And before I start, I need some I need some real sweet white wine, because that's gonna give me a little bit more flavor with my with, 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 with my fish. Mm. And then for dinner to, to, to kind of simmer things down, I need a red because that's gonna help absorb the red. The 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 red meat I'm about to uh devour in a minute. Okay. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. I'm cool with like a, uh, I'm cool with like a tomato type of, uh, what's the appetizer I like with the cheese? Uh, bruschetta. Like a the mozzarella up. with tomato. 
So are you talking about chopped up on bread? Like a uh, no, 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 no. Oh, so here I go. Oh, so caprese, I like the I like a caprese the, salad. So, right? No, no, not the salad. I like the I like the tomato. Right. Mozzarella, tomato, mozzarella, tomato, mozzarella. On the table, it should be an oil. It should be a vinegar. Okay, cool. When you give me my bread, can you give me my bread a little bit warm? Because I'm about to do a little thing with it. And an extra plate, please. Cool. And a, and some Parmesan, please, too. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Grazie. Ah, oh, prego. Prego. Yeah, okay, prego, <laughs> prego. So now I got the plate. Empty plate. Boom. Put oil on it. Okay, cool. Oil simmers down a little bit. Put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top. Shake, shake, shake. Cool, cool. Put a ipsy bitsy balsamic in there. Now I got the warm bread. Now I'm stirring it up like this. You hear me? I'm not making a mess, but I'm just getting into that that feeling where it's nice and cool. Right. Now I got my knife and my fork. I'm cutting the tomato mozzarella cheese. I'm putting it on top. That's how I'm kicking it off. I like to count pizza as a uh, as an Italian. Oh, it's from Naples, so it's. Dish also. I think it's that it's extremely Italian. So now I'm not only going, I'm not going pepperoni pizza. I'm giving you a little bit. I'm giving you margarita pizza. Oh, you know margarita. I'm I'm you, yeah, yeah. I'm like margarita, right? I'm letting you live a little bit. <laughs> you know? But now I got to do a pasta. I need to do a pasta. I had to do a pasta. Like my, my body's calling for a pasta. So okay. I might eat a couple slices of the pizza. Now I want to do a pasta. Now anyone who does a pasta, you know, if you've been in, in Italy. Right. It's no such thing as Alfredo. They don't have the very, Alfredo. No, very Americanized. So right. I, I, you know what? Give me a. Give me a red sauce, but give me a little spicy. Patrick, and I don't want the, you know, I don't, I want the chef to do your thing. I, I trust you guys. Give me some veal. Mm, that's your veal meat. Me, give me a little veal. Let me see how that tastes a little bit. And on the side, because I'm going to have a little white wine, I'll take the branzino. You know, like, like I'm locked in. I'm locked in. You know, give me a cannoli for dessert. I'm out, I'm out the way. I'm cool. Damn, bro. You just took me on the fucking journey. And it's yeah, gonna I'm be. Cool. It would be hard for me to do anything else on the journey. It's yeah, hard cool. for me to look at. Uh, man, yeah, it's it's hard. It's it's hard for me to go a different direction. Maybe maybe a because a breadstick is also Americanized. I think you look at a breadstick like they're not no, eating. No, I'm not breadsticks. doing a breadstick. It's like the warm loaf of bread. You that, need you the know, loaf. They, yeah, that they used to give. You know, uh, Al Capone. You know, back in the day when he was a small infant. You know? Yes, brother. Just a, a a nice baguette, some Italian bread, dude. And you wouldn't right. even call it a baguette because that shit sounds right. French. Okay, right. some of the, <laughs> some of the shit I think that you're leaving off there. Do you fuck with gnocchi? I don't like gnocchi. Gnocchi's a what? It, it's Italian, but it gives it gives me mashed potato vibes. My chef actually just made me some gnocchi at the game once, and I damn they gave that shit to the dog and like no drew on the counter. I hate gnocchi. You like hate gnocchi. Yeah, I don't. It gives me. It's a mashed potato. It like is it's a potato. Italian cuisine, I mean, it's a but it's a, it's, it comes pasta. from a potato family. Yeah, it's, it comes from a potato family. It's a potato based pasta, so I'd have yeah. to have gnocchi in there as a pasta. If you're not gonna, I think you were talking about a caprese. I think a, a the the tomato with the mozzarella on top with the basil on top of that. I think that that's a caprese. Okay, cool. Well, give me right there. I'm I'm pretty sure that that is, but the bruschetta would have been another fantastic appetizer, yeah. and the the calamari. I don't know if you fuck uh, with the, the you don't like the, yeah. the seafood. The I calamari. I like fried calamari. I like the fried calamari, but I like that at better places. But you know, but I know I'm not eating it the right way. I, I understand. Right, you but you prefer it fried. And how, yeah. what about a uh, bro? This wax seal is kicking my ass. I know, bro. I'm, and I'm trying to be patient before I sip my wine. We talking about. Italian vibe. Bro, I can't, bro, even, I can't even pick wine. this fucking wax off. I don't even know. I got this new wine opener I'm trying to use, bro. This fucking rabbit looking fucking wine they said opener. It go straight through the wax, bro. Straight through? Straight through. Fuck it, bro. I'm going to use this this old school opener then if I got to go through through the wax. Yeah, you going to use them thunder thighs. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to get through this fucking wax, dude. Okay, I'm in. I'm through the wax. I think right, that nah. you. I think you slept on ravioli. Yeah, I, it's a, it's a, it's a place here, at El Pasteo. They do like a, a, a cream like seafood ravioli pasta, but it's like Alfredo based, butter based. So like. It's not really, but yeah, I like ravioli too. I, I I like it. Okay, what about like a stuffed shell or something like that? Solid, I could do that. And uh, if you're not going with, if you're not, I mean, I think that a veal and a bronzino are your two best options as far as your entree. I think that we're le we're sleeping on meatballs though. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong. Like I said, I 
I gave you my menu. All the things you said, you can't go wrong with. So. I think also Dover Soul as a fish. Maybe a Dover Soul would be a nice one. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, it's a little bit slimier as a fish. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Mm, smells fantastic, this machete. Um, and then uh, for dessert, maybe a panna cotta or an affogato. You know what an affogato is? No, it sounds familiar, though. It's like, I think it's ice cream, but they pour cream, yeah, yeah. espresso coffee on top of it. You, yeah, coffee you, yeah, on top. Yeah. The, yeah, I fuck with that heavily. Yeah, I heavily I fuck. I don't like coffee. Oh, yeah, then that makes sense. And then uh, what if you had to add a drink on there? Is there any drink that you, uh, a, a, an Italian drink that you like? I guess that, that white wine and that red wine. I had a, uh, I had a drink. It's like Italian ice type of vibe, but it's it's liquid. It's it's it's. What was the flavor? I, was it like an orange flavor? Was it like? Is, is, is it like a lemon, a lemon flavor? Like a, oh, was like, it a limoncello spritz? A lemon, yeah. That's not not the spritz. A limoncello. Just a, yo, limoncello is incredible. Man, I meant what? And I'm and you know me, I'm in Europe every summer. Man, I'm tearing them shits down. Man, give me a Gatorade full of this motherfucker. Let me just walk around the city a little bit. Seriously, that lemon. Now for real, anyone in Cali or any city that makes those, let me know. I'm pulling up in the dough night before a game. I got like that's a vibe. That's really a vibe. And I like when it's real frozen, got kind of chill. Oh, yes, yeah. chilled on the outside. Lemon Cheers. Cello. Cheers, brother. Oh, the machete, fantastic. Magnificent wine. You don't like it? Yeah, it tastes like the name. <laughs> it tastes of blood. <laughs> Slide the machete across. It does. This is one that hits you in the fucking chest right away, bro. It's like a punch to the solar plexus. Shit goes right to the fucking chest for me. I don't know. Just and I got a day off, too. I get to get drunk. Yeah, bro, you better hit it all. You gotta hit hit the wine. I had a beer. Yeah, I had a beer before. Hit the beer. Hit no, the I'm wine. On the wine. Yeah, bro, that sounds fantastic, dude. The limoncello is so good out there because they have the best lemons. The way that the lemons grow on the coast over there, that good ass fucking that that good ass mountainside ash that they have there. I think that that's the key to a lot, like San Marzano tomatoes. They're grown uh, yeah. on Mount Vesuvius because they have like the volcanic ash and the tomato makes it that much tastier. So look, check it out. So on days that we don't we don't have practice in the morning, and if I don't go, I like to do like a, a walk around the block. And uh, when I walk around the block, I, I like the, you know, I don't know. I think it's Chicago shit, but I'm in this nice ass area. But for some reason, when I when I walk back, I like to take the alley back for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't don't ask me why. I just like to take the alley back. It gives me like the vibe when I was growing up as a kid. I used to take that. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. It's an orange tree that someone on the other street has. And I walk me, me and Cuzzo, we walking down the alley, we chilling. I see orange tree. I grab orange. You feel me? Cuzzo, you know, he he just got out, so you know, a lot of shit new to him too. You feel me? Man, don't eat that shit, man. <laughs> No, man, it's orange, man. Relax. So I move around the orange, you feel me? Mush it up a little bit. Thinking I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Peel orange open. Bite that motherfucker. Man, that shit tastes awful. It was that shit gross? Like, I'm talking about like a pre-orange, but also pre-lemon. Like, Ew. Wait, and but I'm, yeah, because they'll taste this shit. He, nah, I look at your face. That shit nasty. You ain't about to trick me. So, yeah, shout out to my, you know, whoever in my neighborhood with that weak-ass orange tree. Did it look good? Did the orange look? It looked really orange. It looked edible. Yeah, and I didn't want to like pluck it, so I, you know, me, I'm looking to make sure nobody see I. <laughs> Bing. See if something fall off. See if I get to shaking that motherfucker. Something fall off, I get it off the ground. Okay, cool, man. That weak ass orange tree, man, disappointed me. That is, uh, that's a shame, dude. You can't be eating those those shitty oranges. But good for you for trying to eat like the local food. Fruits off the fat of the land, you know what I mean? It's fresh produce. It should be fresh produce, but yeah, that's disgusting, dude. That's a that's. Then a shame. I got a problem with my neighbors because all of you know I'm only you know I got biggest house on the block. Feel me? Light work. I'm the king around here. You feel me? It's my hood. You know what I'm saying? Corner so, you know, block. I, and right, the sun in the summertime is fucking up the, all the grass. It's having poles and patchy grass, different colors. So fuck that. We gonna rip that out. We gonna put turf. So I got the only the biggest crib on the block. The time I got fat turf, shit's nice. Man, every time these people want to walk their dog on my turf. And I'm the, like, I'm the guy that like, okay, okay, cool. I, 
guys, can we got, you know, you know, make up some shit. Hey, can we have you guys stay off the turf? Uh, <laughs> he had a bad experience about a dog last time. It kind of messed up the turf. But then my cousin like, yo, maybe we need to get a sign. I'm like, we get no fucking sign. Every time somebody come out, you know, I'm the guy that, you know, goes out with the robe. I was just telling you guys about, hey, yeah. hey get y'all ass off my turf. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> In the robe. But yeah. uh, that's why you're, you need to have the sprinklers water in the turf just so nobody comes in and messes with it. Just sprinkler spraying water on turf. Waste no, I don't water. like it because now I got to feel the water in my feet when I like to wake up in the morning. That's not the vibe. Yo, I want my turf to be nice and warm when I step on it due to the sun. Hopefully your neighbors just listen to the show and they can kind of like pick up that they're, they're doing something kind of fucked up. People fuck with the show. I know, dude. It, and it's a show. It's not a. It's not just a podcast. Are it's you a show. mentally ready to go to to the places we about to go to? I think I am. I don't think you know. I mean, and uh, I'm very good at like manifesting things. Like I'm talking about like Ellen type shit, man. Like old Ricky Lake type shit. I would love it. I mean, Ricky Lake had to rely on people like you know pregnancies where people didn't know who the dad was. You know what I mean? We don't even need to go to those depths. You know, we don't need to talk about. But like, we will. But we will, of course, of course. Uh, but yeah. but I think that the uh, the sky is the limit, bro. I think that I'm pretty good at one of my skills is living it, it by being where I'm at and living in in the moment. So I'm not like too anticipatory, but uh, I I do definitely see that, bro. There there is, and, and we gonna give you a day like a rap battle day, like so we gonna have like You're talking about like, like a one and six in Park mixed with like a Ricky Lake mixed with like a Judge Judy mixed with like a Ellen. Mixed with like a like a, a Montel Williams vibe, with like a splash of Jerry Springer. You feel me? Oh shit! I want the Jerry Springer, but like modernized. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah. Oh, instead of the papers, we go go off iPhones. You feel me? Yeah, bro. Or or yeah. Uh, the like. A, you get a Tesla. You get a Tesla. You get a. Te you know what I'm saying? We're definitely giving out Teslas. We're yeah. hundred percent. I want the. I want everybody who watches the you show. You get an NFT. You get an NFT. You know, little shit like that. I don't know about NFTs anymore, bro. You still in NFTs? No, I was never big on them. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Anything that I don't know what it is and I can't touch, I'm not putting no money in it. I just, that's, a, that's a fact, dude. That's Warren Buffett. He, you know, don't invest in things you don't understand. No, nah, that was Patrick Bradley. <laughs> don't do me like that. I just said that off the top. I didn't know he said that. Don't do me like that. I'm not that. saying that you stole it from him. I'm saying oh, that's just see, parallel now you sound thinking. Like to me. Well, I'll just say that, but you didn't say that. You said that's Warren Buffett. So just say, I mean, that's crazy, Pat. Warren Buffett said the same exact thing you said. Bro, that sound a little bit better? Bro, hey, Pat, that's fucking crazy, man. Warren Buffett okay. saying the same exact thing, bro. Okay. Should I should I try and get Stephen Che in here? Or oh, Warren Buffett. You got Warren Buffett on the phone? Why you pick up your phone? Like because I'm trying to get Stephen Che in here, bro, the guy who does the prep sheet. Because after this, we're about to do something that's uh, 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 what you could consider white people shit. Um, okay. We're doing a case race where we, uh, like, you know what a case race is? I don't like that sound. <laughs> and we're going to beat the case. <laughs> no. no I not. hope so. Anybody, free the guys to us backwards. Yeah, that's a, that's a fact. Um, it's uh, a case race is where you, you have to drink a case of beer. And it could be with two people. It could be with three people. This time we're doing it with three people. We've done it a couple times before. It, it had, like, really good. How big is the case? A case of beers can be 30, but ours is 24 beers. So okay, cool. 24 beers among three people is how it is. But we also have to finish 16 cupcakes. Before, after, so after you drink the beer, you eat cupcakes. In the, <laughs> during the same time. So you could strategize, you could eat cupcakes first, then drink the beer, have the beer first, then have the cupcakes, or do it interspersed in between. How do you think you how would, you go, how would you do in something like that? I would eat cupcake first. I, I can't go down. <laughs> beer. Right. Eat cupcake. I can't go down. Beer. <laughs> then I switch it. You know, okay, cool. Beer. Wash cupcake out. Oop, need cupcake now. You know, I do it that way. Does your competitive competitiveness uh, span to like drinking games? No. <laughs> so like you wouldn't be like trying to like crush beers just so you could try and win this. Like you'd be like, oh, no, fuck I'm it. the guy that get, like get, like to go out and get all my like you know. Oh, it's a group of nine of us. I'm getting six of y'all filthy like drunk. Well, yo, so one of the things that happens with these, these we, we wind up painting our faces uh, for the case races. And uh, one of the dudes who works on this show, uh, Stephen Che, he's also going to be in the case race. So he does the prep sheet every week. You've seen and liked some of his, uh, his, his work on the prep sheet, but he's about to be in the case race. This is Stephen right here, bro, if you want to say hi to Stephen. Okay, what's up, my boy? You looking what's up, Pat? How interesting. Are we doing? What's up, gang? 
You like this? I'm going with uh, an orange uh, tabby cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't like it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it. On, I wouldn't put it Not on my guy? face. But yeah, you know, I mean, I am a cat guy, but right. that don't look like no cat. <laughs> that look like a nice, like, like a friendly tiger. And I don't know friendly tiger. Not Carl Anthony like, Towns, just like a little tabby house cat. No, you giving me Kellogg Frosted Flakes cat. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving you kind of like, oh no. I but that's smooth to... though, my boy. I like that hoodie though. He, he likes the hoodie, bro. He said he fucks with the hoodie. Dude, I just want to. And let me see me... your shoes. Wait, he wants to see your shoes too, bro. He says he he, he said, let me see your shoes. Now he's gonna describe the person you are. Ones. Ooh, that's a killer yeah. right there. Yeah, he's a that's killer. That's a killer. Any person who got enough balls to put the shoestrings inside the shoe with the Jordan ones is a fucking all right. That's okay, the move, salute. right? You're you're real. That's not the move. That's not the move. The That's not the move. He said it's not the move, bro. He's saying it's not the move. move. No, it's a lot move. of confidence in it. You gotta let you gotta you gotta show them things off. You gotta tie them things. You gotta tie those things, he said. I'm a tongue guy. He's a tongue guy, bro. He's a tongue Slow guy. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. down. <laughs> bro, he also claims to be one of the top. I don't know how to say this. Kind of linguists at Barstool. Like he like he loves to go down. He he loves to go down on 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 his wife, bro. He's he he, he like says he's the best at it, bro. I don't I don't know if you want to even hear so about the, that. So that makes him one of the, probably the best husbands to walk the face of the earth. One of the best husbands to walk the face of the earth. He says yes. He'll yeah. take that, bro. He's fired up, bro. I just congrats, to, bro. Uh, keep <laughs> killing it. Congrats. Keep killing it. I just wanted you to meet Stephen Che, bro. I want you to meet all the members of of the team and see everybody who works. He up. seemed like a cool dude. He's the man, bro. He's one of the most positive human beings you'll ever uh, encounter. Positive. And he just tried to trick me with the cat question, so I wouldn't say too positive. I don't know who he thought I was. I was going to fall <laughs> fall for that little oopsie doopsie that he tried to throw in front of me. Are you not a cat guy? <laughs> no, no. Well, of course I'm a cat guy. Anyone who says no to cat, cats will be canceled. <laughs> That's a fact, bro. We're, yeah, yeah we're, we're not, we're not, uh, we're never going but to I'm be. a big cat guy. Motherfucking lying. Yeah, right. Exactly, bro. And he's not lying. He's lying, but he's right. not lying. Um, yeah, he's, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Orange cat. I ain't never seen no damn orange cat. Facts, bro. They don't exist, bro. He's fucking lying. But, yeah, dude, mm -hmm. I just wanted you to meet him. He He's busting his ass, bro. Of course, Jordan, Tyler, Mike. Is he on there. your team? Yeah, I mean, uh, of the case race, no. Who's on your team? It's me, this woman named Kate, and then this guy named KB who doesn't drink. So like, I like to think women consume beer, like, just not not because they want to, but just like to say they beat the guy. I think that's like more motivation. Bro, she's a marine. Like she's a badass. Like she. Oh no no no! Oh, she's different. Yeah, she's built. Yeah, to, she's she, different. No, nah, marines are. Hey, matter of fact, anyone that's in the service, um, I know you guys might be far away from your homes, far away from your wives, children, or might just be far away from your family. You guys get bored. Man, just watch the Pat Bell pod, man. We appreciate what you guys do for this country. Facts. We live in the best country in the world. When I mean the best country in the world, I mean the best country in the world. Right. I couldn't do what you guys are, are doing out there. Keep up the good work. We really appreciate it. Yeah, any of these other countries claiming to be the best, dude, they don't have the NBA. No, salute. Put your salute up. Give them their respect. I had already saluted, but I'm, I'm going to throw them another salute there, bro. Fucking are you the guy that like salutes fast, or are you like the... I steal, I I'm, steal valor, I'm this bro. Guy. I'm this guy. I'm the guy who fucking goes. Oh, you <laughs> the slow salute. Yeah, <laughs> you look like Secret Service. No, no, sorry. I'm the guy who goes to the Waffle House in full army fatigues just to get a 10% discount on my six dollar meal, bro. That's me, oh, bro. Okay, you finessing. I'm finessing, bro. I'm stealing so, okay. valor out here, bro. And then I have people yeah. coming up to me making YouTube videos, being like, "Where'd you do your basic training?" But you can't pen. Hey, I wonder. Hey, I wanted to like go through like a course that the Marines like went through just for like a month just to see if I can like you know there's a TV show where people do that shit like really? celebrity a, a TV show where celebrities go through like basic training yeah I want to I want to do that I want to see if I can last like and I just want to see like you know how mentally strong I am and I, and I, and I think I'm a stud when it comes to like man mentally tough and I can get through anything but just like Someone yelling in your face, spitting in your face, you're not being able to budge, you know, you're tucking all pride away, getting to your 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 real self of like just being mentally strong and letting nothing phase you. And yeah, I wanna I want I wanna try that out. You fucking maggot! <laughs> I'll down fucking beat get... your ass. You think the dame's gonna beat your yeah. ass? I'm gonna fucking beat your ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that. I want that. <laughs> Bro, I don't know if I'd like that. I don't think it... I mean, if you're going into it knowing that they will never beat your ass and you won't die, it's not 
You don't have to be afraid of anything, right? I know. Yeah, I wouldn't be afraid. I think it would just annoy me. But I also think I can dissociate well enough. I think I dissociate pretty well. I'd just be like, oh, I'm on a beach right now. This dude's screaming at me. I'm on a fucking beach, dude. I'm chilling. But right. some some of those mental, when they're just like, you're going to do 10,000 sit-ups in like the next three hours. It's like. And I'm like, cool. I'm going to be sore as fuck. That's going to go away. And my body's going to be like super ripped up. That's go stay longer. Like I'm that guy. You feel uh, me? No, of anybody I know, I think that you're one of the best equipped to do that because you have the athleticism, the like tenacious, um, you know, mindset, and like the ability to withstand a lot of shit. So I think of anybody I know, you're one of the most equipped to be able to win this, sh- to, to be able to do some. Hey, shit I'll like take that. that back. This machete is hitting right. I now. I told you, bro. This shit is delicious. Man, this shit good to the moment. Maybe we have to let it air out a little bit, but this motherfucker. Yeah, we got to fuck it. I got to put this up. Who is this? Half naked woman on the bottle. Yes, bro. All the bottles are sex, bro. The, you you buy it for the art, bro. The art is hey, beautiful. Hey, Machete, y'all got, y'all got a good thing. Y'all got a good thing. I'm going to get this. Because, hey, look, no lie. Bron, come on playing, bro. This man got like a wine. Like a, like a wine carry-on. What does he carry it in? It's a bag full of... What's, f- Grapes. Really? I'm talking about he got some shit. I'm talking, and I'm I'm gonna give him his flowers. Right. Let me repo up again, machete. Straight up, y'all got a good thing going here. I gotta give Brian his flowers on this now, and I I can't wait to send him this. I hope he reposts it. But I gotta give him his flowers on this. When it comes to wine, I'm talking this every game. Pat, you drink? I hell yeah, I'm drinking. I ain't never giving up no motherfucker free wine, especially I know you got some heat over there. I'm talking about one cup. I'm in that bitch. I'm on a plane like this. Ooh, this feel like PJ. To, I'm going to motherfucking Italy. Right now. I'm feeling groovy as hell. You know what I'm saying? Stevie good Wonder grapes. rolling it. Whoa, I'm talking about, oh, good grapes. Good grapes. Like, I, I feel the inner me coming out a little bit more. Okay, cool. Let me adjust my hat because I feel myself getting hot, but not a hot like I need to get undressed, but just a hot like, man, I'm feeling Good in this bit. Rolling Feeling the shoulders like, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I'm cool, but not too much though. Not too much. I'm of course. cool though. Yeah. Interesting, dude. That's uh do you think that better wine gives you a better drunk? I think it gives you a smoother drunk. I, I agree with that. Definitely smoother the next day as well. Yeah, you know, depending on how you drink it. If you just gulp it, wine in the middle of the tongue, you get body gets dehydrated. Woo 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 forces you to have you know, headaches the next morning. But if you drink wine correctly, tip of the tongue first, let it grow through. Yeah, no, no, no headache in the morning. Do you feel the pressure to bring LeBron some nice wines? I I tried. We had a nice little dinner. And I and it's one of the wines I stole on the show that he was about to use. I okay, <laughs> cool. This might be some nice shit. Let me take my boy Bron one of these. Yeah, Pat brought this, you know, we got a nice little dinner going, man. Cool little vibe. This motherfucker pulled out a human sized Giuseppe bottle of wine. Ah, damn. So he's not going to let somebody bring some other wine. I mean, that's, but you know, it's all about perspective. Right. You know, I got my lane. He got his lane. You feel me? His shit was good as fuck, though. Like, yeah, facts. Like, he, he has a, you know, a type of wine or, you know, he's feeding a lot of people. He needs the human sized bottle. You're a connoisseur. You have a podcast where you talk about different types of wine that you get to enjoy every week. I got referees tell me about wine for the games. No cap. I know they know that shit. Hey, Pat, yeah, listen to your pop. You should try the uh, rose, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's a cab. It's an Italian cab. You'll love it. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> Shout out to the ref, man. I ain't going to say his voice? name. I don't want to get him in trouble. <laughs> Shout out to the ref, man. They be watching the pod, man. They be liking the wine. It's an Italian cab. You'll love it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know that was a white I'm going to get some neck uh, two minutes later. How the fuck? That's not a fucking foul. What do you mean? <laughs> Tell your cab. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, you're out of your mind. Well, I know nobody else in this case race is starting off with some wine. So, I mean, I think that that gives me a leg up. You say up you want to finish it? You say you want to finish everything? Yeah, bro. Okay. No, 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 no. Be fair. I, I re it up. I re it up. So, you're saying I got to re up? I didn't say that. I'm just telling you what I did. Bro, what are you doing for All-Star Weekend? Europe. Say less, I'm in. Yeah. You know, I'm moving there this summer, man. I got a whole little vibe going. I'm locked in. Man. I'm really locked in. I'm what do you mean there. moving there? How many months? A uh, whole summer. I'm going to move there five days after the season ends, and I'm going to come back two weeks before the season begins. All right, yeah, I'll come to that too. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> we're staying on Lake Como, right? Yeah, I am. 
All right, nice, dude. I'm probably going to... I'll probably crash with you, but I might just get my own no, spot. No, no, you're so going to crash with me. Bring wifey, man. Make, make it a whole thing. Put you on my wooden boat. Oh, bro, the wooden boats are the ones for sure. But I'll probably just get my own spot just so, like, in case um, you want some private time. Like, uh, I'll be Are you the type to, like, walk around with underwear at the crib? Or are you, like, the... No, 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 bro. I walk around like, it. I, I'm, I'm trying to come out. I'm trying to look Italian when I'm out there. I'm trying to come out flowing. So is your hair slicked back? I might have a little slick back or I might have some sea. I, I might like go for a swim and then let the salt water kind of uh, give get some volume to the hair type of vibe. You know what I mean? Mm. Like just the fucking the natural curls come out as the sun. You know what I mean? The sun hits it, you know, like that, yeah. that type of thing. But I'm trying to be in Europe as well, bro. I might fucking fuck around in Croatia, though, dude. I don't know. I've heard. Let me know. I'm plugged in down there. Them people, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. The I'm Croats fuck the, with you? Yeah. Come on, man. Everybody fucks with 9-4. <laughs> I'm a solid dude. I always tell the truth. I'm not scared of anything. If you my homie, I got your motherfucking back. If you're an op, your ass a op. Like, you feel me? Like, ain't no gray area with me. So, like, you Why don't you wear me, jersey you number 94, though? I feel like jersey nine, number 94 nah, would be different. Now nah, we got to be professional. Like, I'm not on none of that shit. Like, Our test was 9-1, bro. What, how, was he not a pro? World peace. I'm not saying he wasn't a pro, but you know that's just you know the, the look the look of it look doesn't you know because when they right. call a foul they got to be like nine four. Yeah, I ain't got time. Yeah, just nine, me, man. Yeah, shout out to you know Kevin Garnett. Shout out to Kevin Garnett for sure. Yeah. Shout out to to Prime. Shout out to Dion, bro. You know what I mean? Mm, uh, yeah, shout out to Prime too. He always been a big fan of mine too, man. Facts. Can't bro. wait till I go to Colorado. All in them a little bit. Hundred percent, bro. Um, well, dude, I'm gonna go win this case race. You're you're gonna go win at life. Lakers go on 10, 10 game winning streak. You heard it here first. And uh, bro, prosperity, prosperity for posterity. You know what I mean? Yeah, hey, I've been shooting that bitch, huh? It's been crazy. And it's nah, not it was even more crazy when I wasn't shooting that motherfucker. You should hear how the people was trying to I had people walking up to me. Hey Pat, you know, your form, I'm you know, you gotta follow all and I'm looking at these motherfuckers like, hey man, you know, I've only been doing this for a decade and almost a half. <laughs> More than that, you know probably. Shoot ball, but but note it, note it that you think that. Okay, cool, cool. Note it. Was it like a shot doctor, or was it like fucking everybody? Wait, strength. I had coach. people call him on. I had people. I had people call him on trainer. Hey, everything's okay, you know. Like, yeah, trust the process. It's all right, like we good. Well, when you start to shoot good, dude, people don't even really want to talk about it. What were you last? They don't night? want to talk about it. It's the funniest thing in the world. Three for shoot. six from three or something like that. No, 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 no. But for the last twenty games, we've been shooting like forty five from three though, on like five or six attempts a game. Bro, that's like, why we have to talk about it, or nobody it's else. Really, will. some Steph Curry shit. Like, if we've been. <laughs> Yeah, but Steph doesn't really defend like that, bro. I think you're better no, no, than no, Steph. No, 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 don't do my boy like that. Don't do my boy like that. I can't let you do my boy. I'm just trying to Shout gas out you, Steph bro. Curry. I'm just That's trying to guy. gas you. That's my guy. I love him. With that. Like. No, for real, bro, subscribe. But if, like, if you don't fuck with us, still subscribe because you know you should. Right. And, and if you didn't subscribe, you're just doing it off some, you don't like a motherfucker type shit. Right. And I know y'all all like Rome, so y'all just probably don't like me type No, no, no. I know they all like you. And then they're like, oh, who is this white fella? I didn't realize that they had an accountant on the show with Pat, uh, which is fine. And I like that. So please subscribe. Please rock with us. And uh, we'll see you guys next week.